Welcome back to the Brompton Family Time. This upgrade could be the best upgrade that I've ever done to any of my Bromptons. Up until now, most people upgrade their handlebar grips to the Airgons. Airgons are probably the most popular grips that you can put on any Bromptons. These are the standard Airgons that most people use, but some people like to use the ones that have the extensions on the ends. The extensions on the ends are fine if you are a taller person or have a wider shoulder, but when I use the ones on the extensions, my grip, it extends out too much and it's quite uncomfortable. So I can't use that type of grip. When I'm riding my bike, usually my thumb is over the handlebar like this and I'm riding like this. And this is quite dangerous, so when I ride in the city, I always have to have my hand on the handlebar completely because uh, you know people might cross in your path in between cars, um, cars might drive by next to you real close, and you know there's many dangers in the city. But on my work commute, I don't have that problem. And in general, I usually keep my thumb up like this. Unless I see like a pothole, then I'll quickly put my thumb down like this, constantly. Constantly going back and forth. I've always looked for a solution, you know, that is why I got these grips. These are the Spear Grips carbon version. And they allow your hand to sit over the handlebar and ride comfortably. Here's some information from their website. The carbon grips, uh, they do come with a silicone piece that gets attached to it as well that provides more comfort, but I decided to leave them off uh, and test it without it. To get these onto the Brompton, you have to have them placed in between your grip and your brake lever. In order to get this to work on my T-line, I had to do two things. Number one, the shifter lever is too long and it'll hit the back of the clamp here. So you actually have to sand down the lever to make it cycle through past it. The second thing I had to do was lower my bell so it would clear the bottom piece here and I'm still able to reach in and use my bell. I also bought a set for my super light and these are the regular ones. So they're very similar to the carbon ones, except they weigh more and they're about I would say one or two millimeters longer. So for this video, let's install it onto the super light. All right. So the first step, we're gonna take off the grip and cut the end of it off. This step you don't have to do if you plan on keeping your grip without modifying it. If you have the silicone grips, you can just use a knife and you know cut it out nice and easy. The Aragon grips, they have a plastic inner sleeve, so I'm going to use the Dremel and cut it nice and clean. I'm going to use some sandpaper to just make it a little bit smoother. Oh yeah. oh yeah. So this is a new torque wrench that I have. This goes from two to eight Newton meters. This thing is very handy. It's made by CDI Torque Products. I wanted to get the Park Tools one, but the Park Tools one, it's a little bit shorter Newton meters and it's three times more expensive. What's nice about this is it goes from two to eight, but you can adjust it in point 0.1. Um, so it's very accurate. The next step, I'm going to loosen all of the uh, bolts here, just so I have everything loose and so we can make adjustments. So for the next step, I'm going to take off the bell and position it lower onto the um, mount. Please note that I have aftermarket brakes and an aftermarket shifter mount. 
If you come closer, you can see right now the bell mount, it's bolted onto the bottom. So I'm gonna take these off and simply mount it over here. And this will lower the bell half an inch. It's simply being held in by the back piece right here. So this back piece will also move up here. And then we can simply move the screws up like so. And then the bell will be sitting lower on the bike. <laughs> All right, and that's it for the bell. Okay, next we're going to use this fiber grip that came with it, put it onto the handlebar and on the inside and then install this piece as well. This is the same stuff I used on the carbon saddle rails to keep it from moving and this stuff does work well. And it's actually by the same uh, brand as well, Finish Line which is a local uh, U.S. company here on Long Island. Okay. The torque spec on these are three Newton meters max. So I'm going to put them on 2.9 Newton meters. Right now it's on two and simply by turning this, it changes the Newton meters until we reach 2.9. Make sure you have it at the right height that you are looking for before you tighten it down too much. Let me tighten it down a little bit so we can figure that out first. Make it even with the other one. I think that looks good to me. Right about there. Let's test that out. All right, so the next step would be simply sliding the brake over and tightening the brake lever back to where you want it. Okay, so those are good. And the last step would be to slide the mount um, to the left. Now, this is where the T-line wasn't fitting well. And you'll notice the shifter lever here, it'll actually hit the back piece here. So I'm going to take the Dremel again, cut off some of this plastic so it shifts nicely past this part here. Ooh. All right. And you do want to cut a little piece at a time and not overcut it, all right? So we'll do a little bit of a test fit and see where we're at. Um, I think that should be good enough. I'm just going to round off the back part, the back edge here, and this should be all right. All right, so the last step, I'm going to use the Dremel that has a sandpaper attachment and make it look nice and smooth, and then we can put it back onto the bike. All right. All right, and yeah, we'll just simply screw it back onto the bike. All right, so I just screw, finished screwing the mountain and now you can see um, it passes by the bracket, no problem. All right. Okay, and also let's test out the bell. So. You have access to the bell as well. So this upgrade works out all right. So thank you for joining us. We just finished installing them on both bikes. I'm going to be doing some test riding. Hopefully I'll like how these grips work and I'll update you in future videos. So please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. All right.